Well, the next final is the women's vault. And uh, we have Imogen Cairns, who qualified in seventh in this final. But this is Becky Downey's guide to the vault. Hi, I'm Becky Downey, and this is my guide to the vault. Final, he performed two different vaults, and the scores are average to get the overall mark. But there's no room for error in the individual all around competition because you only get one shot at it. From the run up to the landing, it only takes about 15 seconds, so it's a dynamic, explosive event. From a 25 meter run up, the aim is to hit the table well and get flight off the vault. The rest comes naturally. Get height on your vault and perform your twists and turns precisely to score a top mark. The more twists and turns you have in your vault, the higher the score. It's also vital to nail your landings and stay inside the line. Just like that. Sadly, Becky Downey got a virus here and had to pull out of the competition. Uh, but Imogen Cairns is in the form of her life on the vault. She took the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games in Delhi just a couple of weeks ago, performing uh, a one-and-a-half twisting Yuchenko. We expect her to do that today. That's what she qualified with. And here are her thoughts. It's exciting but unexpected, you know, because I, I didn't come to compete. Then we, then we thought, you know... We'd, I can do my vault with my eyes shut, and then I was told, oh, you know, keep, keep training your two vaults, you know, um, train them two, might as well do two, you know, he's putting me up, and yeah, managed to come seventh, so qualify, qualify the vault final, mm -hmm. exciting, yeah. Indeed she does, and these are the girls who she's going to have to beat. They're the eight finalists. Watch out for Alaya Mustafina, the golden girl. She won the overall title yesterday. She's qualified for all four apparatus finals, and uh, many predicting she could win a few more golds yet here in Rotterdam. The first to vault is Alicia Sacramo. She's got a bronze medal in 2007. World Cup champion back in 2004. And goes for a big favourite ball, performs it so well. Handspring off the top, lifts up into the front somersault, one and a half twists off. A really impressive vault. Full of power and accurate to go with it. Determined down the run, strong and accurate approach. Big plant on top of the horse, very, very high, wraps in, one and a half twist, tiny bit to the side, but a great vault from her. Now, as long as the judges consider she shows the straight shape in the front somersault long enough, they will give that a 6.3 difficulty. So it's marked out of 16.3, a massive difficulty score. Two votes, of course, in this final. Has to be different. Christine will tell us more about that later. And the average score is taken, but that first score is very important. 15.4, they gave her the 6.3. They gave her the 6.3 and 9.1 in execution out of 10, so that is a very important start. Second vault for Alicia Sacramone. Posting 15.4 for her first vault, but she needs to keep this up. And has to approach differently this time. She does. Flips on. Lovely double twist off. The gymnasts have to, if they go on forwards first time, they have to go on backwards the second time. She did that. She showed her versatility as a vaulter. Really wonderful lift and height. Sacramone then. The same determination on approach. Backflip onto the horse for the Yuchenko style. And double twist, slightly to the side, but that's consistent vaulting. Very consistent, not such a high start value. This is out of 5.8. So uh, if they think it's perfect 15, 
eight or tenths off from there. It's not perfect because it's off to one side, but it's really, really high. Beautiful style. Legs locked together all the time. Lovely style. Good, good landing. Second round then. Awaits the judges' verdict. And the score, 15.2. That's her average score. She got 15 for the second vault. That's the target. A wonderful presence, composure, and poise of Alia Mustafina. She has everything. She's elegant, she's powerful. She's an all-round gymnast. She's made four finals. Alia Mustafina. First vote from her. Choosing her favourite. Two and a half twists to start with. Lovely height, lovely landing. We've seen that all championships. She's so dynamic. She really doesn't look like she's going to be, but she's so dynamic off the top of the platform. She can add in those two and a half twists. How do you make something as difficult and acrobatic as this look so balletic? It's incredible light touch, beautiful awareness, superb poise, and just look at this. She still makes it look so graceful. Although just a little step to the side and uh, legs just a little bit loose during the twist, the direction of the fault's great. She lands plumb in the middle and really doesn't give much away. Fifteen point seven three three touch of magic from Mr. Fina. Now has to perform a second vault to match. In qualifying, she scored used one worth six point one. Alia Mustafina second vault, a huge fifteen point seven three three for her first, but it's the average that counts. She's gotta keep the consistency up and it's got to be different has to come on forwards now practice less often half turn on front off with double twist absolutely wonderful vaulting amazing Mustafina. you could see from the look on her face before she started that this is less well practiced the little intake of breath she knew she had to really be at her best and she was such power in one so graceful. Round off onto the board. Half turn on. And a nice full twist slightly to the side. Difficult to hold the shape through the vault. Half on. Snaps up. Full twist. Same problem as the other gymnast. The judges have to decide that it was straight throughout to credit it and give her the 6.1. Really needed lots of power there. And the second vote wasn't strong enough. 14.457. You were right, Chris. 15.066 for Mustafina. Tatiana. Nabayeva, 15 years old, first hope. And a hugely powerful gymnast, the two and a half twist really lifts. She's the dynamic, powerful gymnast, not always quite so neat and tidy, but real height and flight in the air. Power is the word. Look at it. And lots of aggression as well. Just what you need to get a thumping lift from the top of the platform. Finds a way around in two and a half, but did she get all the way around? Now, absolutely. These judges look like they could be quite picky. And if you watch, the feet were not completely round. They were only a quarter of the way round. And um, she's vaulted well through this championship. So that's the weakest vault we've seen from her. She hasn't had any problem. But... They're weary a little bit today, I think. They've had four days of competition. 14-7-3-3, and they didn't give her the two and a half twists. Diana Nabayeva. Second vote. 
14 7 3 3 for the first. Navayeva signals that she's ready. Second vault, and it will be different. Yes, she went on backwards, has to go on forwards now. Round off, half turn, lift, the full twist. Quite cleanly round, but she also has uh, nominated a straight front with full twist. And I'm sure when we see the slow motion, we'll be able to look for ourselves. Was it straight? Was it pike? They're looking a little perturbed down in the Russian camp. I'm sure very unhappy about the decision on Mustafina's vault. Two obviously great friends trained together. And share elation and disappointment, but uh, you shouldn't be too disappointed at this level, Sacramento. It's a terrific vaulter out there in front at the moment. Fabulous. She's been in the past world champion on vault, and uh, we haven't seen her since Beijing, but she's been working to come back strongly. Let's see now. Makes the half turn on, lifts. Was that a pike, or did she hold a straight shape long enough? If they didn't give the first one, I think they won't give this one either. 60% of the vault has to be done in the straight shape. She came off the top straight, but a little bit bent-legged as well. We will see. It's a tight decision, isn't it? You can see how she piked at the hips. Bit of an uncomfortable landing as well. These gymnasts going for huge difficulty on these vaults. And Nabayeva, 14.599, 14.466 six for the second. Sacramon is still in the lead. For Great Britain, Imogene Cairns. Imogene Cairns then for Great Britain. Her bid to get onto that medals rostrum. Fantastic achievement to qualify for the final. Wants to vault her best. Lovely style. One and a half twist in the straight shape. She's really such a dynamic vaulter. She lifts off the top so high. Tall girl. She does look elegant and graceful in the air. Twists very accurately. Very, very effective. High into the air. Tight form on the twist, a little bit to the side, but that's good vaulting. Fabulous vaulting. She's uh, come straight from the Commonwealth Games in India to work with the team here. She won vault at the Commonwealth Games. She's British champion on vault and really just needs to up the difficulty slightly to be truly in contention for the medals. Commiserations for Nabayeva. Her day will come again. Nine point one three three for execution, fourteen four three three. So one of the best vaults we've ever seen. Imogene Cairns then second vault. Accurate in the first vault. It wasn't difficult enough, but what's she gonna do this time? She turns on lifts, lovely height, lovely style. The front somersault height opens out to make the landing. Really big, confident vaulting from Imogen. You get into this company and you do your best. Imogen Cairns really attacking the second vault. Really precise. The half turn on lifts up into the piked front somersault. I'm not sure it won't be too long before we see that twisted. And uh, she's really performed well this championships. Three weeks of competition with Commonwealth and straight here. And she's shown what a great performer she is. Very strong, purposeful, accurate gymnast. Relies on style, doesn't she, Chris? She does. Coached by Liz Kincaid at the Academy Gymnastic Club. 13.999 is the average score. Fifth place at the moment for Imogen Cairns. And uh, we've still got Jade Barbosa to vault here. Jade Barbosa from Brazil. She's been 
in an Olympic vault final, 19 years old from Rio. And she really could spoil the party at the top end of the medal table. Let's just see if she can get amongst them. First vault for Jay Barbosa. Real power down the runway, real lift off, double twist, one of the cleanest we've seen. Coach is delighted with that. Barbosa, a very strong first vault. Sacramon, a wry smile. But Barbosa really has a strong bid. She does. She burst on the scene in 2007 where she came third all around. And vault has always been her speciality. Very good style. Very well performed right in the middle of the platform. So accurate. So much in control. But now she will need to match the difficulty with a second vault. The gymnast in the medals at the moment managed a six star value for at least one of their vaults. Let's see what she puts up for her second vault. 14.9. Three for the first vault. Jade Barbosa. Second vault from Barbosa. 14.933 for the first. She has to lift it if she's going to make an impression in the medal positions. She has to vault with huge difficulty and huge control. And that was a wonderful style. Wonderful style. Just a half turn in the straight front somersault, but it was as straight as you can come. I don't think she'll challenge for the first place, but really that was fabulous work. So not over yet, but Sacramon feels secure in her gold, and I'm sure she is. Here the round off in front of the board. She turns on, makes the half turn on good contact, lifts, holds that straight shape, lovely technique on the half turn, really, really clean. Really beautiful vaulting, so accurate. Beautiful, but the difference is that the two gymnasts ahead put an extra twist in that. They made it one and a half off the top. And, you know, that extra difficulty that gives you the extra start value is probably going to be the difference. Well, they're delighted anyway, the Brazilian coaching team. He's not so pleased. His protests are going, but look at that. He's gone into third, 14.799 the average. Alicia Sacramon takes gold medal. Second is Mustafina. She's in silver position. And Jade fernandez Barbosa takes the bronze for Brazil. Aria Kaislin misses out. So a fantastic uh, vault final. In terms of difficulty, you said beforehand, Daniel, that Imogen Cairns didn't have the difficulty with her vaults uh, to get up to the medals, but uh, she did drop down a place. Uh, but you feel she's got a lot more to give in the vault. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can see from, in, in, from the height in her vault, she could easily add a few more twists in there, which would boost our start value up a lot. And obviously, obviously if she works on the deductions as well, then she'll be up there in the medals. Just come back from injury recently, though. Anything that may have restricted her a little bit? Yeah, you know, it, it's hard when you come back from injury to get back to the level you were at, let alone improve. So, obviously, she's got back to the level she's at now. She's going to keep going, keep fighting hard, and, you know, she'll get better. Because Alicia Sacramone, who ended up with the gold medal, and it was a really tight competition, has actually been out of the sport for a while, hasn't she? Just recently come out of retirement. Yeah, yeah, she retired after Beijing, and she's obviously decided she wants to come back and try and win a few more medals, and she's come back and proved that she can, so... OK, Ori's managed to grab hold of Imogen. Let's hear what she has to say. Imogen, a well done to Dan there, but uh, a tough competition for you. How was it out there? No, it went really well. As I say, them bolts were quite easy for me. Um, at fifth, you know, I just kept, you know, warm, running around and that. So, no, I enjoyed it. It's good. And it's been a pretty good last month for you. Three Commonwealth medals and two World Championship finals as well. Sum them up for you. No, brilliant. Um, weren't expecting them Commonwealth medals. Came here, wasn't expecting vault final. You know, I just keep doing it, and I'm having a good time whilst doing it. Well done, Emma. Thank you.